Hey, you're working on a project in your shop. If you're going along, sanding, everything's going great. You're almost done. You finish your last grit. And you go to look at the surface when you're almost done. And sure enough, there's a scratch. And you have no idea where it came from. So now you got to take care of it. And you're really not looking forward to going through all the grits all over again. Well, I'm going to give you a tip with my magical fluid here and how you can get rid of that grit, that scratch, without going through all the grits all over again. So keep watching. We're going to get to this right now. Welcome back to our weekly woodworking tip. So you got that scratch in your your project just as you're ready to put the finish on. No worries, you got a little solution for you to help you get through quicker for finishing up and get rid of that scratch without redoing all your sanding and all your grits. Before we do that though, I need you to do something for me. Smash the thumb if you like what's in this video. Hit the thumb. Make sure you like that way. You, and don't forget to subscribe. Click on the bell down below. That way you get notified of all the content that we issue. We give you weekly to help improve your woodworking knowledge. So, first part of this tip, I'm going to tell you is a simple solution, something you can want to implement whenever you're sanding a nice project is mineral spirits. So hopefully this will also help prevent you from ever being surprised by a scratch. But immediately after your first roughest grit, take some mineral spirits and wipe it across your project. This will evaporate completely, not leaving any residue. And as you shine it into the light, use the reflectivity of the mineral spirits. And if you have any scratches left after your roughest grit you want to stop and redo that grit then that way you don't get all the way to the end but let's say you there's nothing there you went through all the grits and maybe you have a ring or something on you forgot to take off and sure enough somewhere in the process you left a scratch maybe hard to see in the camera but it is right here I don't know how well that picks that up but there's a nice little scratch that if I apply the stain or another finish over this wood, that would stand right out. So, what do you do with that? We, like I said, I have a mi miracle solution that we're going to use. Miracle solution, what it'll do is it'll help pop the grain right out of the wood. It just raises the fibers of the wood so that way you can sand it clean. Another reason that you sometimes find scratches when you're done sanding is because those fibers will lay down over scratches and actually hide them. So you'll be sanding on top of fibers and underneath the fibers, you can hear me scratching the wood again. I guess we have a few things to sand out now. And you're dying to know what the magical fluid is. Give it a good soaking. For all of you experienced woodworkers, you already know the magical fluid is water. Nothing but standard everyday tap water, nothing special. Give it a good soaking, let it soak in for a minute. Just sit there. You can rub it in a little bit. Now you will know you've got enough water on there that you've got it right when you run your hand over it and it's rough. It should feel really kind of you know, gritty and rough and no longer as smooth as it was when you finished sanding with your 220. Take your palm sander with your final 220 grit. Go right back to the last grit. And once the water is all dried off, so there's now just a rough piece of wood. Time to go back to my mineral spirits. Slather it on, wiping it in.
the scratch is all gone. And there you go. Again, our magical mystery fluid, plain water. Spray the, spray the board down nicely, get it soaked in, the grain will rise up, and then you can chop it right down with sandpaper. Use the last grit you used, 220 probably. I will know if you went super fine and say you went up to a 600 or an 800 grit sandpaper because you needed a glass smooth finish after you soak the surface with water. You want to go all the way back to a 220 grit paper. 220 grit will actually dimensionally chop those uh, fibers, those wood fibers off, whereas 320, 400, 600, those will do more buffing and polishing and they won't do as nice a job of leveling off those fibers. So let's go back to 220 and go from 220 on. So that's it. Hope you liked what you saw today. Until next time, really appreciate you joining us today. Hope you enjoyed it. Don't forget to subscribe. You want to be notified of everything we do. So, and we will see you again really soon.